Throughout the centuries, the subject of ghosts have sparked the curiosity of many. Believers have pondered, analyzed, and have conducted investigations to search for paranormal activity. Pamela Ryder is a local investigator and has started her own ghost hunter organization for the shoreline. Her haunted childhood home was the start of her passion. An investigator had come out and done a lot of investigating on it, so I just started following the kind of work that his, he did. His name was Hans Holzer. He's kind of the father of investigating. And um, just started following it from there. There are a lot of pieces that go into the ghost hunting process. To begin, Pamela responds to a call where someone is experiencing a paranormal phenomenon. A time is scheduled when Pamela and her team can investigate a particular place. So we send them out um, in teams. Um, they'll have digital camera, they'll have a digital voice recorder for, to do EVP work. We have infrared cameras set up that are stationary cameras set up around the house um, or business. and then the teams themselves do their own personal EVP and camera work quietly in that room that they've been assigned to. We do that for about an hour, an hour and a half. We switch out and then um, when we do that for about three, four hours at the place. If we're getting a lot of activity, we'll stay longer, but usually three to four. A psychic is the next step to the process. We'll bring in a psychic or a channeler to come in and actually clear the space, make contact with whatever entities we picked up there and then clear the space, if that's what the um, owner wants. So. Pamela explains how people can get involved. You can contact us through www.cprs.info or you can uh, look at us at www.cghost.org, which is c-g-h-o-s-t-s.org. Pamela told me about her new book. The um, book is, is based on this group, starting this group up and the experiences we're having as a team out there. It's also, um, now that we've combined with Connecticut Paranormal Research Society, it's about their experiences. It's going to um, feature some um, stuff about Gary Lynch, who's our psychic that we use. Uh, it's going to be kind of the ins and outs of starting a paranormal research group and the, the investigations we go on and the funny things that happen as well as the serious things that happen. So. We're excited about it. Pamela discussed her theory on the paranormal. I think overall there are people that just don't believe in this kind of stuff and we're not here to convince them that it happens. Um, for the people in this group and the people experiencing it, it's real enough for them. But the thing that we most care about with the people that we work with is getting them to not be afraid of what's happening around them. Spirit activity is everywhere at all times. Some people are more sensitive to it than others. The people who are able to pick it up, if they're being frightened by it, um, there's nothing to be afraid of. They're, these people that have passed on for, are just human beings like you and I, and they're the same in death as they were in life. So it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just understanding what the phenomenon is. To learn more about the Connecticut Ghost Hunters of Shoreline Towns, visit their website at seaghosts.org.